This video applies to current and next gen, it doesn't matter what console generation you're on, with that being said, enjoy the video. Hey, let's get right into it, bro. So 2K23 just dropped and everybody's complaining about the dribbling and the stamina. This is a huge difference from 2K22. This is a huge change from what we are used to. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all boys, I'm definitely getting used to the dribbling this year because it is different. See, last year we were used to just left riding and being able to get up and off that. But this year you can't really speed boost multiple times or else you're gonna lose out on a lot of stamina. So when it comes to trying to learn how to dribble this year, the best thing for me to tell you and the first thing for me to tell you, the meta when it comes to dribbling this year is gonna be standstill dribbling like this it's going to be standstill it's not going to be like speed boost like this all around the court it's really just going to be standstill and then you might pop one or two speed boosts before you actually take your shot because if you do too many speed boosts this year you're going to lose out on all your stamina so you have to know how to play with the speed boost this year and just stand still dribble until it's time to pop that one speed boost and get that open shot and another thing before we get into the tutorial a huge important thing that y'all need to know is that when you dribble behind half court you're not going to be losing stamina so what i've been doing this year is I only dribble behind half court when I bring the ball up because I play threes. I don't know how this works for twos players, but if you play threes or pro am dribbling behind half court, you won't lose any stamina at all. So right here behind half court is where I do literally all my moves, all my combos, and then I pop my speed boost and try to get a three after I already run past that half court line. So yeah, if you think that you're gonna have the ability to just left, right, and just spam speed boost past half court, you're not gonna be able to do that this year. You have to be behind half court and it's really gonna be like a standstill, you know, try to combo up a little bit, get them confused, and then pop pop that one speed boost that's what it's gonna be this year that's the meta that's what you're gonna have to learn how to exploit this year but now that we got that out the way let's get into the dribble moves so these are the dribble moves that i am currently using i've gone and tested and labbed out all the sigs in the game so you can trust that these are really good sigs uh, a couple things about these sigs that i will say before we get into the dribble tutorial is that trey Young's signature size up is extremely important before i was using steve francis when the game first came out i was using steve francis but then when i switched to trey young i realized that trey young is what allows me to actually combo my moves together and that's perfect when it comes to stand still because that's what stand still dribbling is it's just you standing there and putting combos together but you won't be able to do that unless you have trey young signature size up on so definitely go with trey young six size up and then another very important thing is this right here damian lillard size of skate package i've tried out all the different sizes of skate packages as you can see and damian lillard is the best because it gives you the big step back it gives you that big step back i don't know if you guys know the Allen iverson step back from 2k20 but this is a year where iso is definitely going to be a huge type of play style it's going to be a big play style and that's what i run i run iso so I, I walk in and then i do the big step back and damian lillard is what allows you to get that big step back and also it gives you a cool side hop aka side crossover whatever you want to call it we got to start naming the moves this year i don't know what to call the new moves this year but uh, yeah, it gives you a good side hop. It gives you a good step back. So this is what I'm currently using right now. And then everything else is pretty much just me trying out different things and seeing what works best. So obviously there's a lot of more experimenting and labbing that we all have to do as dribblers. But this right here is the best dribble moves right now, in my opinion. This is what I'm currently using right now. Michael Jordan dribble style, Trae Young six size up, Damian Lillard size of skate package are like the three most important things when it comes to your dribble moves. So these are the dribble moves that I'm using currently right now. Make sure you put these on or else your moves won't look exactly like mine. So with that being said, let's get into the dribble tutorial. So the main couple of moves that I've been doing is this crossover right here. It's very, very fast. Like as you can see, like the ball moves from my right hand to my left hand very fast. The only thing, the speed boost isn't that fast. Like the speed boost animation you get off it isn't really that quick, but it's a very fast crossover. And when I put it into my combos, as you can see, it's very fast. So it's more so just like a crossover that you want into your combos. It's not really a crossover that gives you a fast speed boost animation when it comes to running off of it. But like I said, the meta isn't speed boosting left right the meta is standing still and spamming up these combos that's the meta this year so going into how to do the crossover and how to do these combos start off with the ball in your left hand and you want to just flick your right stick top right and as you can see it gave me that crossover right there very fast very you know what i'm saying very quick um you're not holding your right trigger anything you flick your right stick top right and then after you flick your right stick top right you want to flick your right stick perfectly to the left and that's going to give you a between the legs and it looks like that right there as you can see very fast very quick and then after you do the between the legs you want to do it behind the back so you're going to be flicking your right stick bottom right so just look at my right stick on the hand cam i'm flicking my right stick top right middle left and then bottom right and it looks like that right there as you can see that's a three move little combo right there and the cool part about it is i could just keep spamming it so i start off with the ball in my left hand i do the little three point combo and then i do it to the other side so 
like that and then like that so you know what i'm saying you can keep spamming it but now let's get the momentum into it the momentum is going to be in a, ve a very important move this year because the momentum is what makes combos look glitchy the momentum is what makes combos look extremely fast so when i implement the momentum into this three move combo this is what it looks like right here and as you can see, it's pretty fast, you know, it's pretty cool, but there's a lot of more moves you can do. You don't necessarily have to go crossover between the legs behind the back. You could go crossover between the legs, crossover, you know what I'm saying? It really comes down to what you want because with this signature size up, it allows you to combo these moves together so fast. As you can see, look how fast I'm swimming these moves after one another, as you can see, super fast, super quick. And then when you put the momentum into it, as you can see, it's super like glitchy, you know what I'm saying? So going into how to do the momentum, let's start off with the ball in our left hand. It's the same thing as last year. You don't have to hold your right trigger when you do the momentum. All you have to do is flick your right stick up and then use your left stick to guide your player. So since the ball is in my left hand, I'm obviously going to be doing it to the right like that right there. So you just want to flick your right stick up and then a little bit after you flick your right stick, you want to flick your left stick to the right. And it looks like this right here. As you can see, notice the delay of when I flick my left stick. You don't want to flick your left stick too early and you don't want to flick your left stick too late. It looks like that right there and then you could spam it from the left side to the right side and it looks like that right there you can just keep spamming it and yeah so keep practicing the momentum and get the momentum down and then you want to put it into your little crossovers in between the legs and behind the backs like that i'm still i'm still getting it down myself i don't have it all the way down packed the game just came out yesterday but i'm still getting it down myself i'm still la labbing and getting it in my muscle memory but you want to implement the momentum into your crossovers and you're between the legs and you're behind the backs and then i know you guys are thinking what is this step back that i keep doing earlier in the video i told you guys damian lillard is what gives you this explosive step back right here this step back this right here is so important because for me i'm an iso player so i run in step back and then i just shoot the ball like that so you want to make sure you know how to do the step back right here and you want to make sure that you know how to implement them after your combos because it creates so much space right here i'd be dribbling back court just spamming this step back uh combo up step back you know what i'm saying and the reason why i do it back court is because like i said i don't lose any stamina so i'm doing all this i'm doing all this spamming all these combos and i'm not losing any stamina at all and if i am losing stamina it's a little bit because it recovers so to do this step back all you're doing is flicking your right stick down that's literally all you're doing but it can get confusing at times because if you pop it too late then it won't trigger immediately after your combo so as you can see i combo and then i just immediately flick my right stick down step back combo right stick down step back combo right stick down step back step back <laughs> see right there i flipped it a little bit too late so it, it registered just a little bit late so yeah these are just like the standstill combos like this is just like standing still comboing up you know trying to confuse your defender or whatnot trying to look cool or whatnot but you have to learn how to get open that's one thing that i'm trying to learn that's one thing that's been on my mind as i play this game how am i going to actually get open in stage versus comp you know standing still dribbling isn't going to just automatically get you open you know what i'm saying it might look cool it might allow you to move around smoothly and confuse your defender or whatnot but it won't necessarily get you open so i use the step back to my advantage i run in and then i step back and usually that gets me open because the defender that's guarding me is trying to guard my rim run because by the way i get an 84 driving dunk on this build we'll go ahead and watch my build video it'll be at the top right of the screen this build gets a 95 three-point rating a 95 ball handle and i get contact dunks and i have a 99 stamina this is the best build in the game a lot of y'all are sleeping on my build video but go ahead and make sure you watch that build video but yeah like i was saying i get contact dunks so this build has the ability to drive to the paint and get crazy dunks so people are always trying to guard my rim run so i use this step back to my advantage and then i get the three off that like that and then another way i'm getting open is so like i said earlier dribbling behind half court you don't lose any stamina so i make sure i dribble behind half court and then when i see my defender bite just a little bit when he comes up or runs a little bit too much to the side then i speed boost to the three-point line and i usually shoot a three like that and that's the main way that i get open so with that being said let's talk about fades fades are op this year fades are something that y'all gotta do this year as guards the dribbling isn't the same it's not like you could just speed boost multiple times at different directions you're gonna lose stamina very quick this year so you got to be able to score very quickly very efficiently so you got to implement fades into your game so like i said i like to stand still combo behind half court and then speed boost up the court and then try to get an easy quick three off that but if i don't get a three then what i do is i speed boost up the court get a little bit open and then fade green easy simple you know what i'm saying i'm gonna release the jump shot for y'all very soon don't worry the jump shot is coming out very soon but yeah y'all this is the way to dribble this year this is the new way to dribble this is the new meta over time i'm gonna learn how to properly exploit this and i'm gonna give y'all all the dribble tutorials all the best dribble moves i got y'all boys hey make sure you drop a like on this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new to the channel and with that being said i'm out y'all peace